nice breeze here. Oh, there's the, the dog uh, barking, so it's been absent for a while. And there's some noise happening down here. I don't know what this is all about. It's a lot more pleasant outside than inside the house. I don't get much of a cross breeze compared to the flat I was in. So that was the major advantage of living in that flat in Parramatta Park. Uh, it kept fairly cool nearly all year round. It's going to be hotter where I'm living now and I may have to resort to more aircon uh, as a consequence. So we'll just see how it goes. It's certainly nicer down by the, uh, the beach. Oh, they're doing the, uh, the fencing by the looks of things. There's major work taking place there. Uh, yeah, anyway, so I've got to... Um, I've got to look... Uh, I look forward to a warmer summer I think because it's it's only October and I'm already starting to feel pretty hot and sweaty so this is not how it went last year when I was in Parramatta Park so in spite of the fact that there's quite a few negatives of being in that flat that was one of the major positives so uh, I guess I'm gonna have to work out a way of coping like I say there's quite a pleasant breeze here it's not too bad outdoors but uh, in the house, I just don't get enough ventilation. Um, even if, though I've got the insulation, which presumably will help, uh, it's still not going to be super pleasant in there, I think. So that's a bit of a worry. But it definitely has warmed up too. It's uh, We've got a consistent number of days at a, a top of 31 degrees. So, and the humidity I looked at was over 80%. And uh, yeah, that would be oppressive to a lot of people down south straight away. I've actually got, um, I've been catching up with people today. Uh, we're going down to Yorkie's Knob by the looks of things. And we'll have a, a meal and a few drinks down. It's Sid and Karen and a couple of their friends from the uh, Sunshine Coast. And... Uh, yeah, they're, um, let's see, how, see what they make of the, 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 the heat up here because they've been in Palm Cove for a few days now. They got here on Monday afternoon, to my knowledge, and uh, so let's see how they're, they're coping. Uh, just finding a bit warm, personally, but uh, like I say, it's nice down by the beach, though. Definitely the beach breeze is going to be a godsend on a really hot and sticky day. You can retreat down there and get some relief. So, look, this could be just a warm patch and it could cool down again. Uh, it is weather after all. But yeah, I'm a bit, I feel a bit run down by the, the hot weather and not almost pine for a, um, a climate more temperate. And my only option would be to go to Chiang Mai because it's quite pleasant up there at the moment, uh, especially December and January. Uh, it's their winter and it's quite mild weather, low humidity and uh, high 20s would be the, the top temperature. Yeah, very, very nice, nice weather, but uh, uh, I just don't see it happening. It's just, there's still a bit more information to get from the Thai uh, travel authorities, plus the fact that, um, you know, there's no, there's no flights scheduled to Thailand at the moment. Uh, at the moment, I think you still have to be in, in the, a, a hotel for one night to quarantine to, so you can get before, because you've still got to get your uh, PCI test done. So you've got to do one of those prior to actually leaving on the plane, and you've got to get another one when you arrive in the country. And uh, so that means you've got to pay for a quarantine hotel for one night, which I suppose isn't such a big deal, but um, it is an added expense and uh and you've got to have those those tests you've also got to fill out a whole lot of information although part of it is the information you always have to fill out in a card anyway which is a bit of a hassle these days you can do it uh online which is more convenient um but you've got to put all your medical details in and stuff like that so they've got a few hoops you've got to cut jump through and then the other problem is you know, how much of the airfare is going to cost so uh, the accommodation shouldn't be too bad because, I mean, they'd be screaming out for people to come, go up 
there and stay places. Uh, so I imagine there's some very good deals to be had. I saw an amazing deal with a condo. A guy had a condo uh, overlooking uh, the, the mountains, Doisu set in uh, Chiang Mai, and, and uh, that's, that's a prime location. And he was paying, um, I think he said 6,000 uh, baht per month, which is a little over $200 Australian. And he had a condo, he had his own room and everything, and, and a balcony, and it was just amazing. And that, that's just phenomenal value, because I, I paid that same money years ago just to have a room upstairs. It didn't have a balcony though, it was okay, it was quite a spacious room, but it was nothing special, you know. This is actually a proper condo with, uh, you know, all the facilities, a kitchenette and, uh, you know, uh, yeah, a, a much higher quality uh, furnishings and what have you, plus having the balcony with a fantastic view. Yeah, so that, that was just a phenomenal uh, deal. But you probably have to sign a lease for at least a month, maybe, uh, sorry, at least a year, maybe two years. So there's always catches with these things too, so... So I'm just waiting for the bus to come back. I know I just saw it go there, so it should be all right. Uh, I just didn't want to get here too late because the, the previous time I almost missed the bus because it was here early. So you just got to be careful with public transport. But uh, the other problem going down and getting the shot today um, is that I, I saw on the uh, the letter they sent me that it's it's a, it's supposedly a Pfizer only place. So if it is a Pfizer only uh, vaccine clinic uh, will I be able to get my AstraZeneca big question because they've already stuffed me around once so I have my confidence in their ability to get the the uh, admin right is not great so you know I, I'm open minded about this I'll, if I, if that doesn't work out there I'll just go down and get myself a cheap bottle of gin which I've ordered uh, from Smithfield and do some shopping there I might even go to Bunnings if I'm feeling daring. Um, but yeah, I don't have time to go all the way down to um, to Cairns. I, I talked to Lynn on the phone and she's got some major uh, work to be done on rotted um, boards on her balcony. And the trade has taken twice as long as expected. And, uh, and she's also trying to buy her mum a house because she sold a place in the... Uh, I think it's a, I think called the Central Coast or whatever. It's just north of Sydney anyway. Maybe it's, it's, it's lower than that. But the, she sold her house pretty quickly, her unit, and now she's looking to buy a place in Cairns. But uh, apparently the um, uh, the demand for properties up here is just cutthroat. Um, you know, people they said they, they'd put in an offer and they just uh, basically got the zone straight away. Patient, but the, the, the places are going really quickly. And um, and it's definitely a seller's market. Although you wouldn't know that if you look at some of these these YouTube channels and these supposed experts online. Um, I saw one yesterday, and they were talking about about um, cans the same way as Wagga. Wagga apparently has had a uh, has only had a very minor increase in prices, nothing like the average. And then they made they made this ridiculous comment about cans. Oh, I didn't even complete the, the discussion. It was just ramshackle. It was three people, and no one was really properly follow, uh, organising the discussion. So the important information didn't come out. But they basically left you left you the idea that that the market is the same as in Wagga, and that's total BS. The market's hot up here. It's really hot, and. Um, because they, they thought that there, there was plenty of, of uh, potential supply for new new properties to be built up here. But the problem with that is the price of building properties has gone up so much because the supply chains are stuffed that uh, people can't afford new properties at the moment. So it means it's putting more of a squeeze on existing properties. So that market is, is hot and it makes sense. So, yeah. See a lot of, a lot of people walking their dogs along the street here. It's uh, very popular. Yeah, it's a nice area here. Um, extremely quiet. Very nice. But yeah, look, I mean, you just get so much crap from these these armchair experts online. They just they don't know what. Yeah, there are some good people around, but there's a lot of a lot of BS too. You've got to really sift through it and make your own decisions, basically. Well, apparently, the stock market's supposed to crash this month. Uh, it's supposed to be a horrendous crash, and we've only got ten days to go. But we'll see. 
it wouldn't surprise me if it didn't happen. Uh, it would it would surprise me if we don't have some major correction in the next uh, year, though. That would that is on the cards. I'm at the old uh, Jimmy Cook uh, Uni again for third time lucky. Any with any uh, luck, uh, I will finally get the second jab of the AstraZeneca, but uh, not holding my breath. Because as I'll say, they keep when they keep sending a message as an email saying that this is a uh, a Pfizer only clinic. It doesn't instill confidence. Anyway, glad they got this uh, shade area along here. This is smart, really, especially for summer, because the air is warm. A little bit of a breeze, but it's still a warm, warm air. Um, some clouds out that, around there that look a little like could be uh, thunderstormy, but uh, there was no forecast of that. But that doesn't mean anything. So uh, that's what you get when, you, when the weather gets hotter up here. You do when you, you know, typical monsoonal stuff. You get uh, the uh, the showers will come through after it gets really hot and uh, sticky, and it'll clear it out quite a bit, and it's quite relieving. And uh, it's almost getting to that stage now, in my opinion. Yeah, my energy levels are definitely dropping in this weather. Uh, I was talking to Sid last night and he was complaining about finding it harder to walk and I'm saying, well, gee, it's hot up here. You know, uh, I wouldn't even contemplate doing my 10 kilometre round trip to uh, Clifton uh, Beach uh, shopping centre at the moment. It'd have to be a very early start uh, when it's cooler because it's just, it's just too hot. And, uh, yeah, so basically, this is not the peak uh, tourist season, so all those operators have sort of missed out on the golden opportunity they had. Although I've got to say, the bus I just came in is very packed out with, it appeared to be um, uh, elderly um, tourists, because you, most of those get on cliff at uh, Trinity Beach and there was quite a few people got on today so I'd say that maybe they are getting a few people travelling interstate so it's not a, not all restricted um, so but uh, plenty of potential for growth in that area of course anyway uh, fingers crossed that they've got their act together here and I won't be bumped once more. But uh, I've been on this planet long enough to know that uh, Murphy's Law has quite a sway on humanity. So we'll just wait and see. That's oh, very pleasant up here, I've got to say that. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's a protracted bus ride too, but it's, it's actually probably one of the nicest public bus rides in Cairns, actually, because you go through Blue Water area and uh, Trinity Beach and whatever, it could, could be worse. So yeah, quality of life's not too bad. Well, here we go. Here's the big sign and I'll just start queuing up. Well, I uh, just got the second jab and I uh, got interesting information. I got on quite well with the lady applying the jab. I uh, had a bit of a chat with her and apparently um, what they're going to do is have another uh, a booster shot. We, all, we sort of already know that, but what heck happens in the case of people who use the Pfizer vaccine, they get two shots of that, and the booster will also be a Pfizer uh, shot. That in my case, the um, I've got two AstraZenecas, and it will still be a Pfizer with the booster shot. So I'm going to get a combination of the two different types of vaccines, which apparently is of superior, uh, shows superior results to just having the one vaccine. So uh, it appears from what that woman said to me that uh, the AstraZeneca is the way to go for better overall protection. So that was interesting um, because the other people will, will just, just be having Pfizer's right throughout if they have the, the two initial shots plus the booster. It'll be the same 
vaccine but in my case it's a mix and match job and it should according to a lot of studies provide greater protection so that's interesting so uh, and she felt as if the um, AstraZeneca was a better vaccine anyway so that was cool yeah so uh, finally that's out of the way which is good and uh, hopefully I'll win, be one of the winners of the million dollar prize for getting the vaccine. I, somehow I don't think it'll happen, but at least you don't have to pay for a ticket like you would with um, a TATS entry. So that was a freebie, but you never know. If someone's got to win it. Um, I certainly haven't won any of the weekly prizes. I've got to be notified of them. So... Um, might as well just go for the big one anyway. I think what's the point of just going for a thousand dollars here and there? So, uh, you've got to live in hope. It's quite windy here, I don't know if it's showing you from the camera, but it is quite windy. And uh, now I just could go boring old Smithfield and get my boring cheap gin. And I might go to. Um, I might go to Bunnings, but I might not. I'll just see. Um, I still do need to get the washer for the uh, for the tap. Now, I've got to work out what this this device is here at uh, at the bus stop. It's this weird, weird protruding device, and I've got no idea what the point of it is. So, uh, yeah, this thing here is coming into, into frame now. Any idea what that, what that is? There's no signage to indicate, so I've got no idea what it is. Anyway, let's have a look at the board to see what's happening. Cairns Central, 11 minutes. Oh, okay, unfortunately, I have to wait a while. Then again, there might be another fuss coming, who knows. Uh, taxi scouting the area. So I'm just walking back past Tramana Street towards my house and I was the only person on the bus from uh, Trinity Beach onwards. They did a huge detour and I was wondering whether I was going to even make it back. There's so many detours take place at uh, Trinity these days. I copped detours on the way to um, Cannes Central last time too. Well, well, it's actually around Earlville, but there's lots of diversions, lots of uh, detours on bus routes up here. Uh, it doesn't feel quite as hot as it did. Uh, it's been a pretty warm day, though. And I got most of my shopping done. I got a... Um, I paid $8.60 for a, um, a repair kit for uh, tap washers. So there's probably a lot of stuff I don't need in it, but it's got uh, quite a number of washers so that I can uh, repair the uh, the taps in the kitchen, so that'll be good. Um, doesn't hurt to have all that other crap anyway. You never know, one day I might need it. Uh, Coles don't even sell that sort of stuff, unfortunately, but uh, uh, at least uh, Woolworths had it in stock, so that's good. So it's a lot cheaper than getting a plumber. It's not that hard to, to change a washer, but uh, it's just a matter of having uh, the washers on hand. That's the hard part. They just a lot of places don't stock them for some reason. It's surprising to me. They're not. They're not. They don't take up much space. Oh, well, it's Sunday morning. Um, I'm not feeling super refreshed in that uh, there was a party taking place. Uh, a fairly noisy one, a lot of singing, and it went to at least 3 a.m. and it was the uh, it wasn't coming from my neighbour just immediately opposite me. I had a chat with her uh, yesterday actually. She's still keen to get the um, to get her uh, uh, get this this fence built. Um, that the the actual party was coming from that place over there, diagonally opposite, and uh, like I say, went to at least three o'clock in the morning. So I wasn't impressed. 
um, I'm going to have to rearrange my bed so that uh, my second bed up in the front of, to the front of the house, diagonally opposite to where, where I'm sleeping now, to give myself a buffer from any sound like that. But it's certainly a lot better here. Uh, and that's not the norm, that's an aberration. But again, uh, if bad neighbours have just moved into a rental, it's almost impossible to get people out of rentals. So uh, we might be stuck with them. So hopefully it's not a uh, permanent situation. I've just got to, got to do my uh, watering. I do this every morning at around seven-ish. I think it's a little later today. I woke up an hour later because of the uh, noise. And uh, so this is my uh, daily routine. Get out in the morning because you know, up here it gets pretty warm. I've opened up all the windows in the house because I, uh, I want to get as much air through it as possible because it was very hot last night. Uh, 32 degree day. Uh, it's going to be 31 again tomorrow, uh, today and the next few days. So... Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's feeling a lot hotter up here than when I was in Parramatta Park, mainly because I got that amazing cross breeze. So that was the major benefit of living there. It was uh, pretty pretty good. It shows the wisdom of having a, a Queenslander because it, I mean, if you raise this property two more levels, uh, you'd get quite a good cross breeze, I'm sure, but uh, not at the level it's at now. Uh, I would almost be tempted to, to have a, uh, a top area if I could, a renovation, but I don't think, you know, it's, it's too much money involved, especially at the moment because there's such a lack of supply of uh, materials for builders. So it's, um, it's, it's very difficult for people to, um, uh, to keep costs under control because the supply chain for all building materials is so stuffed. So um, major renovations, you're probably better off to put it put it off for 12 months if you can. Anyway, I've got to now get around, get around to just watering those mounds of, of uh, plants that I put in there as screening, and uh, and also get uh, get all the pots and everything else here done as well. So it's going to take me about a good 10 minutes or so. Not not big a big task, but something I need to do if I want to keep my plants in decent shape um, when the wet arrives in a month's time hopefully it won't have to water as much we'll see how it goes please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever and uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic do both that'd be great